kept walking by a sign and wonder, you know what, maybe I should scan this or call the number. Well, you know what, with this um, one with the guitar lessons by Miguel, I did. And um, only to find that he is an amazing musician and teacher. So we're gonna go check him out today. Today we have Miguel Machado, music teacher. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited to have him. He's an amazing guitarist, amazing teacher. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and well, you know, let's just start off. Like, uh, tell us a little bit about your business here in Midtown. Okay, yeah. Um, I, I'm here in, in Toronto since 2017. I came here to, to study music production, but uh, I decided to, to work with the, my, my business that I used to, to do in Brazil as music teacher. A bit before the pandemic, I started to, to, to teach guitar in some music schools and the pandemic uh, messed up all the business, but anyway, I, I'm still working uh, with the music education and yeah. So it, it sounds like you've taught a lot of students, so what, I mean, when starting out, I mean, what, what are some of the first things that people ask you? Oh, uh, yeah. The first, the first uh, question is how much time I take to 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 play uh, well, to play my favorite song, and I have the same approach for everybody. Okay, music uh, learning process is like a language learning process. As as more you have contact with the language, the better. Okay, so yeah. I've never thought of it that way. Learning music is like learning a language. A language you have to immerse yeah. yourself in it and you got to practice. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Well, uh, I, I've been um, studying music since uh, I think 2002. Yeah. What are other little tips and secrets and tricks do you find would help fast forward yeah. yourself to become like specifically guitar um you know what are things that would help you become better faster yeah so um my first tip is learn songs that you like uh, from your favorite artist i don't know if you like uh pink floyd okay let's start doing some pink floyd songs uh once you learn two or uh, three four chords and... Okay, understand why the chords is this shape. So just understand what you're doing. So this is the second tip. Uh, when you learn uh, the, the chords, okay, but under, understand why the chords is the shapes that you've been playing, and it will it will give support to learn more, even more other chords and why they have some some difficulties and why the other chords are easier than, than the others. And I don't know how to play a scale like this. I don't know to do this, so try to do it slowly, always slowly and, and have a practice routine. <laughs> um, so, so I know um, that can be very daunting uh, for a lot of people. Like, what are the advantages of learning music? Yeah, theory? yeah. Can I just can I just like you know learn a couple chords and then I'm good to go? Like, or how how does music theory help? Because yeah, like, music theory helps because um, there is a, a, an aspect when you learn theory, you're gonna be able to learn by ear. You know, okay, I like that song. So should I ask my teacher to 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 teach me? Oh, you, when you have some knowledge about theory, you are gonna be able to hear the song, to listen to the song, and be able to oh, this chord is this, this chord is this. So just listening to to the sound recording, you when you have some knowledge, you, you are able to to oh. play by ear. Yeah. So you mean. It's not because they have perfect pitch. It's because no, no, I don't, have, I don't have perfect pitch. I don't have. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I when if you play something, okay, what is this note? I don't have idea. I don't and, have idea. Yeah. 
And by I, the way, I, I've heard Miguel play <laughs> and he can just listen to a song for like three seconds and he'll be able to figure out all the chords. So you're saying that's not... No, it's... That's, that's music theory? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not a gift. Uh, you okay, uh, just uh, people that born with this gift, the perfect pitch gift, are able to play by ear. No, no, you yeah. develop this through the music theory. Okay, so, so and, and when you teach guitar, like how, or music, how do you like to incorporate music theory to help your students learn faster? Yeah, so I always try to, to approach from the, the basics, the scales, so, uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, or Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, C. Uh, here in North America, people call it C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And yeah, I always introduce the, the scales and make them understand where is the notes on the fretboard. Because people just do the chord, oh, this is G. But why this is G? So I just made them, the, the students understand why G is this shape. One, one, one interesting step thing is not necessarily you read music to understand music theory. So you don't need to, you, you don't need to learn, learn it. Yeah, you, oh, she music, okay, that uh, travel clef and five lines, the, the dots on the five lines, it's not necessary to learn this, it's not, it's not. How much time do you practice? Is there a better time of day? Is there a worse time of day? What, what are some tips and tricks about that? 15 minutes a day is good in the 30 minutes, maybe, if you have some time. And then for the guitar, what would be like four important chords to learn? And would you be able to play a couple things? Oh, us? yeah, yeah. So, like, what are the four most important chords? Yeah, so, the, the, yeah, um, we have uh, the, the easier chord at all in the guitar. You have the G, E minor, C, and D. I think these four chords is the starting point to, to play any song. You know, there are some some songs uh, like uh, G, D, E minor, and C. Yeah, so this sequence, this progression, you, you're gonna be able to play a bunch of songs. For example, um, uh, Let It Be from Beatles. From the... We can play, uh, for example, uh, YouTube. The same sequence. It's different keys, but I can use in this key. Uh, any, any song you can use the, the same key to play uh, a sequence. Just to review, what are those four secret chords? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, the four secret chords, <laughs> you can play whatever, a uh, bunch of songs, you know, so it's very common this sequence. So again, uh, it's like G, G, yeah. D, D, E minor, and C. Four chords, you can play 20, 15 songs. That perfect song, uh, you know, uh, Are the same chord but different sequence. That's different, it. Yeah, that's it. The same, the same four chords. So, once again, just four chords. You can play a bunch of songs. So we have gone through um, so much material today. I just wanted to ask you, just a little bit, like, you know, what what do you what what do you love? I mean, you're definitely very passionate mm -hmm. about about music. Um, what uh, what do you love most about your job teaching students? Ah, uh, yeah. First of all, I like to have contact with the guitar so every time when i'm teaching the guitar is in my <laughs> it's close close to me i i'm able to have contact with the instrument most of the voting a good part of the day and the the good aspect to have students of all all ages and anyway cultures i'm able to to uh, learn new songs so i have teenagers Students, they okay. I'd like to to learn Olivia Rodrigo. 
who is this girl? I, I never heard. Okay, I haven't. Today she's very famous, but uh, a year ago I did. I never heard about her, and I was introduced to her song. And okay, this girl is good. And every lesson I have some new songs to to learn. So I know you teach both online mm -hmm. and in person, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So in terms of. Um, online i mean I, I actually love the setup that you have um for, oh, yeah. for this can, can we take a look at what your setup is and um see what a lesson is like online yeah, sure. yeah. so this is the setup yeah i have this setup online here. yeah i so i have a camera and my computer so i bought this camera it's a good camera and i use zoom as well so this is interesting here, for example, we can see both of us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we, yeah, we can see the through the camera. I can attach my cell phone. I can attach my phone on the on the setup. So yeah, it's connected. So every time I, I'm teaching, the student is uh, can see my face and I can talk with them. And a microphone as well. I have a microphone to to make the students hear me better. So you have a good setup here so that they can hear you clearly. Yeah, yeah. And so that they can also see you um, in, in different aspects. Yeah, so when you're, different so this is they can see you um, talking and teaching, but mm -hmm. at the same time, you can switch it. Yeah, um, I can switch the cameras. Yeah. So that they can see you play the guitar. Mm -hmm. So that's super yeah. helpful and good lighting too, so they can see what you're doing. Yeah, my Instagram is Miguel Machado Music, so you can find me there, Miguel Machado Music. And Do you have a YouTube channel? Oh yeah, YouTube yes. channel, YouTube channel, yeah. Uh, yeah, Miguel Machado, yeah, the same thing it's through miguelmachado.com. Uh, you can find me on, on YouTube, All right, my YouTube channel, yeah. So, yeah, everything, my Miguel Machado Music, you can, you can reach me. Okay. I have my contact there, my phone number, my... Yeah, and all of this contact will be below um, here for you so you can reach out to Miguel. And if you're interested in seeing more episodes and learning some more great tips from local businesses um, here around in Midtown Toronto, just like and subscribe to Grace Goes Local and be sure to like and follow him too, okay? So that's yeah. it for now and thank you so much. <laughs> All right, there you have it. So with Grace Goes Local, the promo is this. Yes, the first lesson is always free, but if you decide to sign up, I find it usually takes about a month to really get to know a teacher. If you sign up for a month, you also get the fifth lesson free. So you get one month of lessons plus the fifth one for the next. So try them out. If you want uh, a great and balanced teacher that knows uh, what is you know trending out there and also the fundamentals and uh, theory that is foundational and fundamental to learning music fast, give Miguel a try.